Hey, for the 4th of July, I'm going to go up the mountain with Heather and watch the fireworks. No, you're staying home. Why? We don't do anything. We just sit. I don't want you gallivanting around town when there's drunk people out and there's a lot of fireworks going off. You're staying home. I'm 23 years old. I don't care. How does that feel for the rest of the family? Me and your siblings are just sitting here doing nothing? No, that's not fair. You're going to have to cancel and you're staying here. That's not fair. I don't care. Did you get a new phone? Yeah, I did yesterday. Why? Because it wouldn't turn on. It was broken. It was working perfectly fine just the other day. I've had my phone since 2013. I have a really old one and it's working perfectly fine. It's my money. I don't care if it's your money. Okay, if it's your money, then you don't, you're not gonna need help from me at all. I'm not gonna give you any more money. Okay. No, cause this is bullshit. I don't wanna hear it. Look, my school posted me. For what? What am I looking at? The school posted me for the article I wrote. For the story you showed me? Yeah. They could have used a different picture. Wait, what's wrong with it? Okay, well, I, I don't like this. This could be a, a dangerous. I don't want people to know where we live. There's no information on there. I don't care. Come in. I'm watching you moving the living room. Come watch it with me. Um, I'm not really feeling that good. What's wrong? My head really hurts and I just don't feel So you're not sick all day long and the moment I want to watch a movie, then all of a sudden you're all sick. I mean, I can watch it if you okay. want. I just don't... You're going to feel super, super bad when I don't wake up one day and you're going to wish. You're going to wish that I was still alive here being able to watch movies with you again. I'll watch it. I just don't feel okay. good. Have fun. Have, feel sick. Whatever. I'll watch it all by myself. It's fine. Hey, can you sign this? What is that? It's a permission slip for a field trip. When did you get it? I don't know. Like a week ago. So now that you're heading out the door, you want me to sign it right now? I, f I forgot. No, I'm busy. I'm about to leave. It doesn't matter. You had all week to do it. And now that you're heading out the door, you want me to sign it? I won't be able to go. And I guess you're not going. Can you take the dog out? Oh, I took her out like a minute ago. Okay, well, she needs to go out again. She went one and number two. Because I can see the way that she's looking at me. Okay, I'll take her I out. don't care how long ago it was. I know, I was just, I, okay, I'll take her. I guess I'll take her out. And you're grounded, you can go in your room then. What? I've been so constipated. Like, my stomach hurts so bad. I feel like I need to call out tomorrow. Imagine you have to, like, go to work. And when you get to work, you, like, can't make it to the bathroom. And you just start, like, shitting, like, everywhere. And then, like, you start peeing at the same time. And then everyone's like, what the hell is that smell? And then everyone's just, like, trying to figure out who it is. But it's actually just you. That'd be so embarrassing. Girl, what? I've been so hungry lately. Like, I feel like I'm gonna eat up the whole pantry. What if, like, a piece of the wall was missing because you got so hungry you just, like, bit out of the drywall? Pieces of the couch or stuffing is, like, all missing because you were so hungry. Everyone's like, why is everything missing? It's because you're hungry. Girl, what are you talking about? Oh, I... I don't know. I just thought of it. My computer's, like, completely broken. Like, I need to go get it to, like, get fixed. Well, you better take it in quick because I feel like the next time you go on your computer and you touch the first key... Oh, you're just like getting electrocuted. Your hair is like standing up and fried. Your eyes are like sizzling. <laughs> That's oh, I don't, I don't know. I was just thinking like that'd be really funny. Oh. Hey, um, do you have water bottles, or you're still on your like paycheck to paycheck journey? Oh, no, I actually just ran out of water. I drank the last one, which is weird because I never see you drink water, which explains the acne on your forehead. Hmm. Well. At least the pimples are on the north side of my body instead of the south. Oh, speaking of bodies, are you still not able to see your toes when you're putting on your shoes? Are you still able to see your dad, or is he still missing too? Oh, speaking of dads, is your dad still on crack, or is he probably just at home right now selling your PlayStation or something? Oh, are you talking about the PlayStation you gave me that you stole because you couldn't afford to buy your own PlayStation, and you gave it to me because you were too scared you were going to get caught? Speaking of stolen, didn't you steal my entire personality? All of my jokes, all of my lingo, my style, things like that. Well, I guess I'm doing a better job at it because I have friends and you don't. That's why you're always begging to hang out with me. Be so for real. That's as for real as it gets. What are you doing this weekend? Oh, I'm going up to Tyler's Lake House. It should be pretty fun. Oh, so they have a lot of money. I mean, I guess. Okay, I don't want you to come back acting spoiled and expecting things because I don't have that kind of money to just be going up to our lake house and wherever you're going. I know I'm not expecting anything. Okay, well, I do everything for you, so have fun. Hey, I need you to go finish the rest of those dishes. Get off the games. Oh, I'm, I'm doing my homework. Okay, you can do that later. Okay, I'm coming right now. No, I said now. I know I'm coming. I'm now. Doing... Okay, thank you. <sighs> Why are you so tired? Oh, I just didn't sleep much. I don't remember you going to school today or having a job. It's the weekend, so why are you so tired? 
I don't know. I just couldn't fall asleep last night. I don't want to hear that you're tired at all. I just got off of work. Okay. You want to be really tired? How about you clean up around the house? I just did. You know what? I don't want to talk about this. Go to bed. Go to bed, since you're so tired. All I said was that I was tired, and now you're mad. Wake up! What? Wake up! What's going on? Why are you still in bed? It's my day off. I wanted to sleep in. That's weird. It's my day off as well. You don't see me still sleeping. It's not even late. It's one o'clock in the afternoon. I haven't had a day off in like a week. Okay. I worked a few days ago too. Oh my okay? god. Okay? So you're going to get up and you're going to help me. Now. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. Okay. Where are the car keys at? Um, were you going to ask to take the car or are you just going to grab the keys and go? You said you wanted me to go to the store. The store is a block down. You have legs. It's midnight. Okay, well, you take my wallet, too. Take my passport. What? Uh, I might as well move out of the master bedroom. That's yours as well. I'm trying to do something funny. I don't want to hear it. Go. Are you serious? Were you thinking about turning out the light, or were you just going to leave it on all day long? I'm doing an art project. I, I don't want to hear excuses. I don't care what you're doing in there. Okay, I'll turn them off. Do you want to put the utility bill in your name? No. It'll look a lot better for my bank account. I was just trying. Go to your room. Honey, why have you been in your room all day? Oh, I got grounded. For what? I got a B on my midterm paper. A B? Oh, uh, yeah. Why the hell is he grounded for getting a B in class? Because if he wants to go to college, then okay. that's Okay, do you want to go to college? I mean, not he really. He doesn't want to go to college. I don't really care if he wants to go to college. Okay, that is, that's not my problem. That's definitely not his problem. And you didn't go to college either. You barely graduated high school. Come on, we're gonna go get some food or something. <coughs> Are you okay? I don't really- Are you sick or something? What gave it away? The fact that he's sniffling? Or the fact that his face is red? Or the fact that he was keeping us up all night coughing? Or what? He's going to school, so... He's not going to school. Definitely not. He already missed multiple- Okay, and you also just took off work so you can go shopping last week. Go get in bed. Right now. Auntie, what are you doing? Shh. Shh. There's someone outside the door. Mom's talking to the neighbor. Oh. Why didn't you- Tell me that. Jesus Christ, he's good to shit out of me. Uh, there's food in the fridge. All right. Are those new shoes? Uh, yeah, I just got them. Where are you getting all this money from? My job. Okay, well, if you're getting all this money, then you can start paying bills around here. I do pay bills. Okay, well, then you can start paying more bills around here. Because uh -huh. I don't get to just treat myself with shoes. Oh, well, you could. Yes, I could, but instead I put it into the house. I put it into groceries. So do I. Okay, I don't want to have this conversation anymore. What are you doing home? Oh, I have today off. So you have another day off of work? I didn't have a day off. Then why did I see you home yesterday? Because I just got off of work. Okay, so when you get home, why don't you start cooking or cleaning? I do do that. Okay, so if you have all this time, then I guess you could just get another job then. I, I work. And I'm done school. with this conversation. Uh, what are you doing tomorrow night? I was going to go to a school dance. I'm not paying for that. I know I am. Okay, why do you feel the need that you need to go to a dance? I didn't go to one. My friends are going. I just think you, you could be spending time with your parents. Hanging out at home, maybe helping with some chores. Well, I just want to... Do what you want. I don't care. Guess what? I got a new job. Doing what? Running analytics for this one company. I don't know. And how much are they going to pay you? Like $30 an hour. $30 an hour. That's like $10 more than I make an hour, and I've been working for 35 years. They said I meet the qualifications. Okay, I don't trust it. Good luck. You're probably going to have to wake up extremely early, and you hate doing that. And if not to mention, you're going to have to work probably extra hard for that. Let's see how long this job lasts. Hey, what do you want for dinner later? I don't want to do anything crazy. I've been doing work all day today. Oh, I'm going out with Chris again, so... Okay, why don't you tell me this before? I did, like, three times. You've been on, like, three dates with him this week already. You don't need to go to another one. He's being super sweet. I just want to... Okay, well, able... your dad did the same exact thing to me. And guess where that ended up with us? I hope you don't have to pay him back for any of these things. Why would I have to pay him back? Of course you don't. Whatever. Have a good night. Hey, you need to stop uh, letting the dog in your room at night. Why? Because he gets anxiety when he's in there. He's whimpering all night. He's been getting really close to sleeping with me, and he's getting used to it. So stop letting him sleep in there. He goes in there himself. I don't care. He's sleeping with me. Every time he messages you, you can't just, like, respond. That's what he wants. And I know that. I know if I respond to him, I'm going to be right at his front door again, and then a week later, I'm going to be right on this bed in the same exact boat. And I'm trying to get through with as much as equanimity as I can. What? But he makes me feel so diminutive every single time that I have a conversation with him. It's so hard. You know exactly how he is. What does that mean? 
He makes me feel small. Oh my god! What? I forgot to tell you. Okay, so you know that girl we met at the bar the other day? Okay, so we met up the day afterwards, all right? And we're having a conversation, everything's going great. And then she starts, like, talking to me, like, s like in a super didactic way. What? Like, super didactic. Acting like she's teaching me a lesson or something, like I'm not a full-grown adult. What are you doing in here? Nothing, I'm just getting ready. Then why are you acting so enigmatic? What does that mean? Like, you're acting mysterious, I don't know. How? Like... Shut up. Ooh, I've been hearing about that movie, it looks good. We are not watching that. Why? I watched it last week. That movie is freaking egregious as hell. Egregious? Like bad, like super bad. Can you like take out the trash because it's your turn and mom's been asking me for like three days and I'm not taking it out when it's your turn. Well, you've had like three days to do it so you can take out the fucking trash. Mom asked you to do it anyways. Okay, then I can just tell mom about all the dirty trash and food and shit under your bed. So then you have two jobs to do if you want to really go there. Okay, then I'll just tell mom you've been stealing her car every night when she goes to sleep. This is the last time I'm doing it. Did your big ass steal my food from the fridge, my leftovers? Yep, sure did. I was looking forward to that food literally all fucking day and now it's gone. You literally ate my leftovers like the last four times. I came home from work like six times and my food was gone. So yeah, I ate your fucking food. You owe me a hundred dollars. For what? Cause you stretched out my fucking shoes and I have no shoes to wear. Well, the only reason why I had to steal those shoes is because all my shoes are gone. So I wonder how that happened. Not to mention I got a foot fungus from wearing those shoes anyways, with your nasty ass. So I guess we're even. Whatever, Bigfoot. Mom, I'm still okay to go to my friend's house tomorrow, right? No, you're gonna have to cancel. But you said- No, don't do that to him. Do what? Tell him that he's allowed to do something, and then when the time comes, tell him he's not allowed to do it anymore. I don't think that's any of your business. Okay, remember how I said I was gonna watch the kids while you go to your little poker club next weekend? I don't feel like doing it anymore. This has nothing to do with that. Exactly. See how that feels? Hey, uh, I was wondering if you wanted to go do something. No, I think I just want to stay home today. I know, but you've been sitting here for like three days since you guys broke up. I was thinking we could go see a movie. Or we can go to his house and slash his tires on his new Jeep. Maybe another time. Okay, well just don't think about it for too long. He's 16 and he's balding. You can't be that sad. I know. Okay, well, there's food out here if you are hungry. Do you think you could take Aiden to his recital tonight? Again? My boss called me in, and Aiden wants you there anyways. Okay, he's not going to remember that his aunt was at his recitals. He's going to think my mom was at none of my recitals. I don't know what you want me to do. Whatever. You're a joke. And if you were such a fucking loser with no self-respect, you'd drop her because she treats you like shit. Well, that trying to sit on the chair, and it's so uncomfortable. Yeah, just fucking sit on it. I bet you like sitting on things. What? Bouncing up and down on it. Yeah, write it. You're disgusting. I'm just kidding, Jesus. Oh my god, this lotion just got everywhere. What did it just squirt all over you? I think the cap's broken. Got everywhere in your eye and your mouth. What? Yeah, I bet it did fucking squirt on you, huh? What is your problem? You're disgusting. I'm just saying that you're probably used to getting squirted on. How far does it how far did it squirt? Can't with you. You're just kidding, Jesus. Dude, they put extra meat on my burger. I didn't ask for that. Oh, I bet you that's no coincidence. You probably asked for extra, extra meat. Why do you make everything like that? I'm not being sexual. I'm just saying that you probably asked for extra meat because you like extra meat. Well, I don't. You're used to a lot of meat. If anyone here likes meat, it's you. Yeah, I bet it's pink too. You like it extra rare and pink. Ew. Is it hot? Is it hot meat? Warm, hot meat? Oh, it's actually cold at this point. Oh my god, stop, stop taking everything so seriously. I'm just saying that you like extra meat. There's nothing sexual about that. Yeah, right. So what is his grade at currently? So his grade is currently at an F. F. <laughs> F for fantastic? <laughs> what is it really at? Um, an F. And there's no way for us to round that up? <laughs> I am free Friday. Oh, uh, free for what? For a date. Ma'am, I am married. So? So I'm married. I'm married too. Okay, this is inappropriate. Um, okay, uh, he can turn some stuff in. <laughs> Wait, are you Jeremy? Uh, yeah. So, are you the little kid that's been bullying my nephew? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Okay, the only thing that's funny is that rotten stench that's weaving its way out of your rotten teeth right now. Okay, so you're gonna leave him alone because I don't want to have to come back down here. 
What's going on over here? Oh, I was just saying how amazing it is that my nephew and Jeremy are best friends. <laughs> right? Uh, yeah. So I did have like a quick little question. Uh, so the other day we got his grade back for his creative writing essay, um, and he failed it. Well, yes. Have you read the story? I did read it, because I actually helped him write it. Okay, well, I do have a bachelor's degree in writing. That's funny, because and... I actually have a master's in writing. That's actually what I studied in college. Yeah, so... His story was a little bit out there. So we're... The weird thing is that it's a creative writing essay, so it was pretty creative. <laughs> right. Um, I don't want it to come back down here again. Let's go do something. I'm just feeling really anxious right now. I can't do anything. Why? I don't know. Sometimes I'm just really anxious. <laughs> what the hell? Why would you do that? After oh, I just told... I was just thinking that if I like scared you, you'd be less anxious. I heard that if like you something was more like scary, it would help. That actually made it way worse. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you want to put it on, like, a movie or something? Yeah, my mom wants to be back by 8, though, because my dad's coming in town. Oh, just tell your mom that you're with me. It'll be fine. I, I still want to see my dad, though. I know, but if she knew you were with me, then it'd be okay. I know, but I still need to see my dad. Wait, I'm confused. Does your mom not like me? What are you talking about? My mom just wants me to see my dad. Okay. We should do something next weekend. Yeah, we should. I just can't spend any money, so okay. something that's, like, free. Um... We can go to the mall. I just said I don't want to spend money. Okay, well, you don't have to buy anything. You can just, like, watch me shop. How is that fun for me, watching you shop? Okay. Well, there is a closer mall, so you could, like, save on gas money. And we could shop. I could, I could shop there. Wait, what? That's the same thing. I'm confused. Oh, hey, can I borrow one of your shirts before bed? Yeah, do you want the big comfy one? Is that the one with the bears on it? Uh, yeah. Okay, is it a different one? Why? Because that one has nylon in it. So? So it actually refracts light. And if that touches your skin, it can actually give you skin cancer. Girl, what? That's why a lot of people are dying before their 40s. So just give me a different shirt. Is this glass? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, do you have, like, something that's, like, not glass? We have plastic. Glass and plastic? Do you realize that when you actually drink out of a glass bottle, it actually has fragments of glass? So it's actually cutting up your stomach. So what do you need? I don't know, something made out of clay or crystal. Bro, we don't have that. Okay, I, I'm gonna head to the store then. Hey, uh, what's what's the air at? I don't know, I keep it at 65. 65 is literally the worst for your body. You could turn it to 66 or 64, but 65 is actually one of the most unhealthy ways for you to sleep in. Girl, what are you talking about? It causes weight gain. So do you mind if I turn it up to 66? I guess. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, so I went into work. There was like three people in the office that told me to sit down and they fired me on the spot. They said, you have to get your stuff and go. And I'm like, why? It's not like I'm abdicating all my responsibilities or something. What? And they're like, you're extremely moody. Like you can't be around people if you're moody. And I'm the least capricious person I know. What does that mean? Like I'm literally just trying to get snacks. No, because that same exact thing happened to me. I went to that same gas station. I was like half asleep. I was just grabbing snacks because I was hungry. And I go up to the counter and the person, doesn't, he didn't never stops talking. Like how loquacious can you be? Look, wait, what? Hey. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. How many times are you going to film me with trepidation today? <laughs> Girl, what are you saying? It's just, like, scared. Yeah, I was going to invite your parents. No, my parents cannot be in the same room together, especially on New Year's. Wait, why? I mean, they've been split up for, like, seven years. Oh, I thought it'd be nice to just have everyone. Okay, well, if you put them in the same room, the juxtaposition of it all with their personalities is going to be too crazy. What? Well, he was just buying, like, frivolous things on her card. That's why they initially broke up. Okay. And now he comes over and he acts like super avant-garde with everyone. Girl. In college, it's just so stressful. Like, I have no friends. I have no one to talk to. I never see my family. I feel, like, alienated. Not even alienated. Just, like, alone. Like, I don't really have anyone to talk to. And then I feel bad because my family's like, you need to come visit, but they live so far away. No, I get it, because if you're your own person, like, you have your own stuff to do. It's not even like I have stuff to do. It's like, I don't want to leave my house, and, like, I'm already just so used to being, like, by myself. Right. And then, like, I already have, I have finals to do on top of all of that, so I'm, like, always thinking about that. And that's already, like, stressful enough for you, with everything going on, and that added stress. It's not even stressful, it's just, it's an added part of the stress I already have. So, I don't know, it's, it's too much. I don't know what to say.
Her and her new boyfriend are so cute. She seems so happy. I wouldn't say she's happy. What do you mean? Why? I don't know. She was just, like, posting so much about her new boyfriend the other day. Like, no one that's happy is, like, posting that much. She posted their engagement. I don't know. I just feel like I've seen her, like, way happier before. She's gonna get married. I'm just saying. I love the wall colors in here. It's like a beige. Yeah, it's. I think it was called Sandcastle. Mm, I'd say it's more of, like, a beige. Yeah, Sandcastle, beige. They're kind of the same thing. Okay, well, companies just, like, draw names out of a hat, and they throw it on top of a paint can and call it that color. I mean, I guess. That's just what it's called. Eh, it's more like a beige. We should go to that restaurant we went to last week. That guy was really sweet. That guy was not sweet. What do you mean? He was nice to all of us. Well, he, like, only asked you if you wanted extra water. Everyone else was, like, left thirsty. He asked all of us if we wanted water. Okay, well, I wasn't going to be annoying and tell him to give me, like, another water. Well, then you can't be mad if he didn't give you water. Yeah, he probably just wanted to sleep with you or something because he only liked you. What? No, he wasn't sweet at all. Brighton, there's food in there. Okay. What's wrong? Me and Alex broke up. You guys broke up? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> what happened? Tell me everything. What? He wants to go to college, and he just thought it'd be better if we broke this up. This is so exciting, Brayden. <laughs> that whole thing was a phase. You're not gay, Brayden James. There's a girl that's been calling me every day asking about you. Okay? I think this is a sign. <laughs> There's better things to come, like dating women. Okay? Now, I don't want to hear about boys anymore. Okay? But I... Brayden! What? Can you tell me why your ex-little boy toy lover thing was just at my door about five minutes ago? Really? For what? He said he wanted to come apologize. I told him to leave. Why would you This do is that? over. This is done with. I don't want to see him at my door again. This is disgusting. And the next time I'll call the police too. I don't want to see him at my door ever again. Well, I, okay. he's- You're done. Go to bed. Yeah, I finished my last semester, unlike some people. Oh, I'm so glad that you're doing good in school. <laughs> Maybe you should put that same exact effort into, I don't know, say, going to the gym or something. I don't know. <laughs> mm. Well, speaking of the gym, remember we found your cousin's gym thirst traps and your hidden folder on your phone? Let's talk about that. Oh, well, speaking of family, don't you still kiss your dad on the mouth at your big age? I think we can all still smell what your dad had for dinner on your breath. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes people have relationships with their dads still. Some of us can't say the same, though. Mm. Maybe you should have a better relationship with money so all of us don't have to chip in and pay for your food every day. Maybe we start like a GoFundMe or something for you. Oh, and then you can help me, because I know you're experienced on the GoFundMe website. Kind of like when you set up that GoFundMe for your mom's fake illness, raised $200, and then sent it to your online boyfriend who turned out to be 45 years old. Okay, you ate me up a little bit. <laughs> no, because you ate me up a little bit, too. Can we get, like, food now or something? I'm hungry. What grade are you in? Uh, third. Why is this on your, why is this on your homework? I don't know. Okay, why don't you just put it into the, one of those, like, websites where you, they do it all for you. I'll pay for it. Isn't that cheating? Okay, but it's not a problem if they never find out. Go grab my purse. Hey, sorry, I just needed to come here and grab something. Okay. Who's got you smiling like that? I'm just talking to this boy. Let me see. Well, he looks a little bit weird in this one, but... Oh, he's cute! What's his name? Chet Brewster. Chet Brewster? Uh, yeah. You want your last name to be Brewster? I mean, I don't know. That's not gonna work. That is the ugliest name I've ever heard. Maybe you're right. Yeah, I'm never wrong. Baby Bobby! Why is she on the couch? Where is she supposed to go? Anywhere but the couch. Okay, well, she's not allowed on the couches, apparently. She's not allowed in the bedrooms. Where is she supposed to be? I don't know. Okay, then why are you allowed on the couch? Excuse me? She was your idea to get for the kids. So what? I'll take her home if you want. Not gonna happen. That's what I thought. You have really nice hair. Oh, thank you. What would you do if, like, while you were sleeping, I just, like, snuck into your bed at night and, like, buzzed all your hair off? You wake up and look in the mirror and you're bald. You go to work and go to school and everyone's calling you stupid fucking baldy. Wait, what? Why would you say that? No, I was, I was just, I'm not gonna do that. I was just thinking, like, you, I don't know what I was thinking, actually. I, I swear I'm, like, not even related to my family. They're, like, so weird. Your parents, like, kidnapped you when you were little. <laughs> they, like, wanted a kid, so they, like, flew off, and you're, like, actually from, like, Russia or something. They're, like, wanted for murder or something, and they actually wanted to end up killing you and selling you. But instead, they, like, fell in love with you instead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Once again, I didn't even wake up to my alarm, and it was blaring when I woke up. I do that all the time. <laughs> you were, like, sleeping, and you, like, heard your alarm going, ah, 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 and you're, like, dancing to it in your dream. You wake up, and you're, like, fired from your job and everything because you just wanted to dance. <laughs> yeah. Kinda. Never mind. Why are you in here by yourself? The party's outside. Because there's no ranch out there. We're all about to get in the pool. Okay, we can call me out there when there's ranch. Girl, those are already ranch flavored. I don't remember asking you. Go back to the party that you're so in love with. Are you seriously already drinking? It's nine in the morning. It's your sister's wedding. Oh, calm down. It's not even alcohol. Then what are you using the flask for? It's ranch. Why are you drinking ranch out of the flask? Because I'm hungry and the food here sucks. So I brought my own ranch. Where did you even get that? It's from the Hello Fresh box that you ordered. The ranch one. Girl, what? She prank called my mom last night and told her I had an STD. So now I'm in huge trouble. So fuck her. Well, she might be just going through something. I don't know. Why are you sticking up for her? I'm not sticking up for her. I'm just saying that people go through things and then they do bad things to other people. And they're actually just going through something themselves. So maybe we shouldn't like call her names or something. I feel bad. What if something's going on? She could have lost someone in her life or she could be getting bullied herself. I hope she is being bullied. Fuck her. I'm just trying to play the devil's advocate. I don't know. She could be going through something. No, you guys can get shakes. I just can't afford it right now. It's fine. Oh, just put it on my card. I thought you said you had like $5 left in your account. I mean, I do, but I have just enough for you to get you something to drink too. Just put it on my card. You're late on your rent. I mean, I'm, I'm late on payments all the time. It doesn't really matter. Just put it on my card. <laughs> no, like literally. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't sound okay. I'm um, allergic to fish. We're eating salmon right now. No, it's fine. It just, I can't breathe when I eat it, and you were cooking for five hours, so I didn't want to. Girl, do you need us to call 911? Make you feel bad. I'm just trying to get the details. Like, what happened? I was literally trying to get it out of her. She was literally, she just kept on talking. I was extrapolating as much as I could. What? I just want her to be okay. No, we all know it's going to end in a pernicious way. Like, she's going to be crying. She's going to, she's not even going to leave the house, probably. What? Uh, nothing. Hey, are you still coming to the camping trip with us next week? Mm. What? Nothing. I'm just, I'm feeling kind of ambivalent about it. Ambivalent? Like, I'm not sure if I want to go or not. I don't know. I'm just kind of, like, ambivalent. Tristan is coming over tonight. I just don't know if she's going to be like... I don't really want to hang out with her. Wait, why? I don't know. Every time we're together, I just, I just see, like, a malignant look in her eyes. What? I don't know. I just feel like she's, like, always Titaramis. Like, she's always thinking Titaramis things. And, like, everyone around her is, like, on edge. I'm not hanging out with her. Am I annoying you with my vocabulary? I mean, no. I just don't really know what you're saying. Okay, I'm just, like, making sure because a lot of people say that I'm esoteric. And I believe them. Okay. Did you put the water in the fridge like I asked? Shit, I forgot. I'm sorry. I know you didn't. You know how I know that? Because I just put it in a few minutes ago. When did I ask you to do that? I don't know, like yesterday? Two days ago. So I had to drive myself to the gas station and get myself cold water. I had to spend my own money. I've been getting home from work late, sorry. I don't want to hear it. So you can't leave the room today. Stay in your room all day long. I don't want to hear anything about it. What? Hey. Hey. What time did you get in last night? I don't know, like 12. Let's try that again. What time did you get in last night? I don't know, maybe like 12, 10. Exactly, you were supposed to be home by 12. Why? We're not doing anything. We don't have any plans. I don't care if we didn't have any plans. Uh, no, we're not doing anything. And guess what? I still wanted you home at that time. My friend has been struggling. I've been trying to help I don't care if your friend was dying in the hospital. You need to be home when I tell you to be home. Okay. You never stay out late with, with your family. But when it comes to your friends, you're all about it. Go to your room. Did you get a haircut? Yeah, why? Nothing. I would just hold back on dating for a little bit. I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> I know. Wait, why weren't you at my graduation? It's because it was a, a Friday. Were you busy on Friday, or...? Oh, I told you. Remember? Like, I can't go out on Fridays. It was actually prescribed by my doctor. There's something about, like, the air on Fridays, or, like, something about the sunlight, and it, like, affects my skin. Plus, your graduation was, like, in the sun, and I didn't want to have to, like, break out in, like, Friday hives. What does that even mean? Pedro Pascal is so hot in this movie. Oh my god, ew, no. Girl, what? My mom dated him in college. 
She hated him, too. What are you talking about? He's, like, 20 years older than your mom. I'm serious. Girl, you're a fucking liar. Okay, well, like, he didn't go to the college, but, like, he would come to visit just to see her. And he would, like, send her gifts that were, like, $20,000, and she hated it. Because she's, like, a strong, independent woman. And she hated getting gifts. Right. I know, and I tried telling her that, but she wouldn't listen, right? Who are you talking to? Oh. <laughs> uh, no, he was just telling me that he wants you to leave the door open. The cat? Oh, I'm clairvoyant with cats. It's a weird family history thing with, like, cats and stuff, but he said he wants you to leave the door open because he can't really get out at night, and that's why he's been peeing on the floor. So you should probably let him out. Plus, he likes the color blue. We were going to go swimming. Do you want to come with us? Uh, no thanks. I don't really feel like getting wet. Oh, just bring a towel. Yeah, it's like, don't feel like getting in the water, and then, like... Oh, wait, there's, there's a jacuzzi there. Yeah, I would still get wet, though. Oh, so I just I'm... thought because it's, like, bubbly... Yeah, I think I'm just going to stay here. Well, you guys okay. can have fun. Well, just me to stay at like 3. Bring it down. Wait, what? Hey, we're about to go to a sushi restaurant. Did you... Ooh. What kind of pizza do they have there? Oh, I think they just have like fish. <clears throat> oh, well, I could probably just get like pepperoni or something then. No, like they just have fish. Oh, okay. Do they have like, I don't know, like wings or something? No, they just have fish. Okay, I'll figure be... something out. I like cheese. Hey, do you think you could turn that off? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I meant the light. Oh, I thought you were talking about my phone. I'm sorry. Um, the light? Oh, the light. Sorry. No, like, turn it off. Oh, okay. Sorry. Girl. Oh, sorry. I drove past that mansion earlier today on the mountain. It had lights on today. I used to live in that house. No, you didn't. The house is worth, like, $4 million. No, I'm serious. We used to live there from, like, when I was 7 to 14, and then we moved out. That would mean you're literally a millionaire. I mean, we still have a lot of money. My dad just doesn't like talking about it and all of his kids flaunting it because we don't want to get robbed. Girl, you're such a liar. I'm serious and you can't tell anyone or else I'll probably get freaking people knocking at my door asking for money. Wait, what product do you use for your hair? It stays in like really good. Oh, I don't even color my hair anymore. It's just like this now. What do you mean? You have box dye in your bathroom. That was for my sister. I wasn't even using that. I haven't dyed my hair in probably like seven years. Your natural hair is light brown. No, I'm serious. My family has this gene where if you, like, put something in your hair, I don't know, something about your scalp, like, realizes the color that you want, and now it just grows this color. I don't use any dye. I've been trying so hard to lose weight, and nothing's working. You should honestly go to the doctor and see if you're just, like, big boned. Wait, what? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah, I actually stopped working out because I went to the doctor because I was, like, thinking that I was super overweight, but the doctor took x-rays, and I actually just have huge bones. That This isn't fat. Girl, shut up. I'm serious. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Stop yeah. it. Hi. <laughs> uh, you liked me last time. <laughs> I can leave if he doesn't No, like stop me. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does he not like me? I don't want to no. impose. No, no you're, you're good. You're good. I promise it's okay. Up for it's okay. Uh, Mrs. H, uh, can I get some water? What was that? Some water. I'm sorry, I'm just having trouble hearing. What was... Uh, can I get some water? I was just feeling kind of thirsty. Yeah, there should be a few left in the fridge. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to impose or anything no, like that. No, not at all. I, not at all. No, I'm, I actually don't know why I said that. I actually don't like water. I don't drink a lot of water. That's why my acne is bad. Well, I had fun. Thank you guys for having me over. Um, I'm just going to go home. <laughs> I thought you were spending the night. Oh, I, I, could, I could spend the night. Um, do you want me to spend the night? Yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I have work at six in the morning. Then you don't have to stay. No, if but you I don't can. Want to. Oh, you want me to go? No, no, no. Oh, I'll stay. I'll definitely stay. Uh, uh, I can sleep on the floor. Or no, something. we have a room. <laughs> I don't know where. Yeah, she said she wants to take me out to this restaurant tonight. Hmm. It's nice of her. What? What's wrong? Nothing. Well, obviously something. So did she even like ask you where you wanted to go? Or she just was like, we're going here tonight, and you, you just dropped everything for her. She just wanted to take me out to dinner. No, cause I'm, no I'm, I'm serious, because I'm super tired of her just being like, we're going here, you're doing this, you're doing that. She's not really like that. Oh, I guess we're not talking about the mother that I've seen for 15 years. What? Okay, no, it's fine. He got me the cutest necklace. Aw, that's sweet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you want? <clears throat> what? He didn't just get you a, a necklace just to get you a necklace. What does he want? I don't think he wants anything. Okay, well, he gets you a necklace, and then he takes you home, and let me guess, he wants something from you. He has to tell you something bad. He's done that to you in the past before. When? 
Okay, well, I would probably just return the necklace then. Why? No, because you need to stick up for yourself. You can't just accept a necklace without asking what he wants first. You need to chill. I'm just saying I'm trying to protect you. I've been roaming around, always looking down. Oh my god, I didn't remember standing there. It's so embarrassing. Oh, I love that song. Yeah, it's one of my favorite songs. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite part? I'm not really sure. This is the part it's... where it's like, looking down it all I see. No, I don't know. I don't know, I love that song. Good morning. Uh, I think I lost my voice from all that singing yesterday. Oh shit, that sucks. What's really weird is I feel like I could still like sing. Oh. I think I should try. You probably shouldn't. He didn't say I couldn't sing. Oh my god. So I guess it's just, I can... I can't talk, but I can sing. Okay. I hate doing dishes. Oh, it helps me do the dishes is if, like, you, like, put a little song to it. It gets you through, like, the process easier. So I usually go, like, wash up, wash down, clean up, clean down. I do that every single time. Okay. You know what? We should just go to that restaurant we went to last week. It was, like, the food was really good. The people were really nice. The vibes were really nice in there. I didn't really like it. The vibes were off, and I didn't really like it. Yeah, the food. I didn't really like it either. Yeah. Yeah, the, the people were, like, kind of, like, awkward, and the food was, like, cold. Yeah, let's just go somewhere else. It wasn't good. We should ask Trevor to come over. He's cool. I don't know if I want to hang out with him again. Really? I don't know. He just, like, he seems like he just thinks he's better than everyone else. Plus, he's always, like, telling us places he's traveled and stuff. It just, you don't like his vibe. I really like him. He's cool. He is kind of sweet. Yeah, I think he, I think I was just like, I don't know. I like him. I like him a lot. So maybe we could just like go over to his house later or something. He's cool. We could watch Coraline. It's like my favorite movie. It's like nostalgic. I love it. It kind of creeps me out. I don't really like it that much. I actually really didn't like it either. For some reason, it just like, it's kind of childish. I was thinking that. Yeah, my favorite movie isn't Coraline. I couldn't remember. I was thinking maybe, I don't know, something that sounds like Coraline. I don't know. so tired girl when was the last time you brushed your teeth and when was the last time you had attention from a man that wasn't your dog oh i thought you loved dogs because <laughs> you know you love using the dog filter on snapchat to cover your acne Ooh, you caught me i use filters but at least i don't use photoshop to distort my entire fucking body so it doesn't look like i gained 35 pounds over the winter break Oh yeah, I think you're actually the one that taught me how to use Photoshop. Cause you used to Photoshop hair on the top of your head because you had a bald spot. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, I have been taking medication so it grows back. <laughs> Speaking of medication, are you still on those medication pills that help your stench and your odor downstairs? Cause I think we can smell something. I just think it's so amazing you're talking about smell when you're still talking with your nasty ass breath. It's amazing. And I just think it's so amazing how your hair can look fried and greasy all at the same time. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, we're going out to the pub tonight. Did you want to come with us? No, I'm just going to stay home. Wait, why? Because I just wasn't really feeling it. I think you can just like have fun by yourself, so. I had to do a little fake POV so I can get your guys' attention. I'm not the best person to be speaking about this because I'm horrible with my words and I slur a lot, but this is Ahmed. He's 24 and he's a graduate from Palestine University. He's trying to raise funds so him and his family can escape Gaza. Um, and they need our help to raise money for it. I actually found him through Danny Loves Pasta, who is working with Aaron with Pass the Hat, um, who is also working with Operation Olive Branch. I reached out to Aaron a few days ago, um, but she's getting flooded with people that are trying to help and get assigned families. Um, so I think I got lost in that. Uh, so I actually found him on my For You page, and I picked Ahmed because he's the furthest from his goal. This is his GoFundMe. Um, he goes on to write how if the circumstances were different, uh, he would love to pay us back, which is absolutely heartbreaking. So he's at 2,453 out of 40,000, which is the farthest I've seen so far. The travel coordination per person is 6,000, so he's trying to get his whole family into a safe area, and that's how much it costs. He also goes on to write how he doesn't want to watch his family die right in front of him. Even if you're donating for brownie points, it doesn't matter because he needs to flee to safety, and he needs money to do that. Also, if you're wondering, all the money that is made off this video is going to go straight to that GoFundMe.
I'm also wearing my wig, which seems unserious, but I wore it because I think it might help with the algorithm um, and get people to watch for longer. It's still a little too hot for you. Isn't he a little too old to be taking baths? Excuse me? Aren't you a little too old to be picking on your little brother? Nope. Okay, then I guess I'm not too old to be snitching on you for sneaking out last night. Why would you? No, that's... Yeah, that's what I thought. No, go grab your little brother's towel, bad wetter. Did you start your project yet, Alina? Uh, no. I told you a million times. This is completely my fault. What? Remember, I was supposed to help you. We were supposed to go to the store and get the poster board and the scissors and stuff. It's a PowerPoint. Right, it, it's a PowerPoint. Uh, I was supposed to give her my computer, right? I just yeah. bought her a computer two weeks ago. Okay, well, you got her a Dell laptop. What is she supposed to do on a Dell? She needs, like, a MacBook or something. We're working it all night. This is completely my fault. Auntie. Auntie, Mom made dinner. It's ready. What does she make? Uh, the leftover turkey casserole. That's disgusting. Why would you wake me up for that? I don't know. Okay, we'll just DoorDash or something. I'm not eating that. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Welcome in. Uh, make yourself at home. Hey, do you have any extra water bottles? I mean, this is the last water bottle. Oh, that's fine. I could probably just go get some. I can go to the store. Oh, that's really okay. I, I, I oh, you have fine. this. No, you're fine. I can just go get some on my... Okay, I don't know what you want. Hey, um, so I was just sleeping. Um, did you just get up and make a lot of noise? No, I haven't left the room. Okay, because I feel like you did, because now the dog's all riled up, and he's, like, running around, and he only does that when people make a lot of noise, and I was sleeping, and you're the only one else that would probably do that. Oh, I've been silent. I've just been okay. sitting here. Well, I'm just trying to sleep. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you guys have any blankets? It's a little bit colder well, in the room. Did you check the linen closet? Um, I wasn't sure, and I wanted to ask. Okay, because that's, like, typically where blankets usually go. Like, you could have just saved this. I can, I can go. It's fine. I'll show you where it is. Thank you so much for having us over. You've been so kind. Well, I'm glad you had fun. You're welcome literally whenever you want. Anytime you want to come over, just come over. Ew. What's wrong? I don't think they put enough cream in here. Yeah, I bet that isn't enough cream. Ew, you're disgusting. Oh, there's just not enough white, hot, thick cream in your coffee. I know you're addicted to white cream. Somebody needs to put you on a leash or something. You're gross. I'm just kidding, Jesus. I can't believe I passed that class. Wait, I thought you were gonna fail that class. I mean, I was, but then I kind of just... So what did you do? I don't know, studied and... What did you do to get the good grade? I studied. Oh, yeah, it's like you gave him any special instruction yourself. Ew, what? Snuck into his office, I don't know. You're sick. <laughs> My grandma keeps calling and texting me. I think she's really lonely. She's probably just bored. What do you mean? Well, your grandpa died like a year ago. She probably needs some pleasure in her life, if you know what I mean. Ew, get that off me, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, well, she's 92 years old. She probably needs pleasure. I'm just saying, your needs don't just stop when you hit the age of 90. You should find her someone, or something. Uh, we're gonna go, um, out into town shopping tomorrow, so we have to wake up at, like, 8. Okay, um, I probably won't buy anything, I don't have any- You don't um, have money? Not really, I spent most of it on the plane ticket. Why yeah. would you come on a trip with no money? Because it's my friend's birthday, and I wanted to be here. For... So you paid for the plane, and then you were expecting to be here with no money? Well, I just wasn't going to buy any. I guess I'll pay for you again. <laughs> wait, wait, that reminds me. Do you think you can actually uh, Venmo me for the meal that we had earlier? Oh, um, I thought you said you were going to pay for it. Okay, well, I was just like thinking like I've been spending too much money, and I'm like, well, maybe I should ask you. Yeah, but I said no, and then you said you were going to pay for okay, it. Okay, so well, then why'd you have the meal? Because you said you were going to pay for it. I didn't think okay, it was going to be Okay, you like... could have said like no. I did say no. Okay, I guess I'll just add it to your tab then. Shit, I think I'm going to miss my car payment this month. Have you asked your parents? Why wouldn't they pay for it? My parents don't have just, like, extra money to give to me for... Aren't they, like, 45? And they both have jobs. Yeah, but they just can't afford an extra expense What do they like do? That. Well, my dad's a mechanic and my um, mom's a... My parents definitely would have had that figured out by then. We should see that band Clubfoot on Saturday. Who are they? They're like a new band. They've been blowing up. <laughs> no one knows who the fuck they are. What are we going to do? Post on our Snapchat and people are going to be like, who are they? That's embarrassing. I just thought it would be something for no, us to fine. do. No, it's fine. We should just go somewhere else. Do something else. That sounds really boring. And I came home, and there was flowers on the table. And there was, like, this little card, and he wrote the sweetest thing inside of it. Oh, my God. He's so sweet. Obviously, he's sweet. That's why I'm with him. <laughs> um, But, I don't know. I just can see myself being with him for, like, forever. And I told him that. We also have, like, soda in the fridge, too, if you want that. 
I saw it. That's why I grabbed the water. I don't like drinking a lot of sugar, which is hence the water in my hand. Oh, I was just saying in case. I know. <laughs> do you guys have any plans for the 4th of July? Yeah. Oh, what are you, what are you doing? We're going over to her mom's house. <clears throat> why wouldn't we have plans for the 4th? Oh, we just like didn't talk about it. So I was... <clears throat> yeah, we do. <clears throat> Look at this ring he got me for my birthday. So oh cute. my god. <laughs> That's an amazing gift. What should we, I was thinking? I know it's your birthday. I'm so sorry. Um, but my birthday's coming up in like four months. So I'm just trying to like get, get the ball rolling. Are you guys all free? I think. Yeah. Okay. All right. What should we do for my birthday? I don't know. Okay. So I was thinking maybe we don't go to the restaurant tonight and we go there on my birthday because I kind of showed you guys the spot. Are you okay? You've been like quiet. Oh no, I'm fine. Are you sure? It's just I just feel like I'm being ignored. Like I feel like everyone's talking. To like everyone but me. Well, it's Alex's birthday, and I know just... like tonight's not like about me, but I'm just like include me in something. I don't know conversation. Ask me questions. I don't know. Why are you sitting in here alone? There's a movie in the other room. Okay, well everyone's watching horror movies, and I said I don't like horror movies, so I'm not in there. I mean it's PG-13. It's not that scary. Okay, well if she's gonna be a good host for her birthday, maybe she should think of everyone. She wasn't the one that put it on. Okay, well I'm gonna think about everyone on my birthday. He was supposed to be at work, mm. but he was over at her house because I was checking his location. Mm. And he... My birthday was 7-Eleven. What was that? Oh, nothing. I'm just sucking on my big gulp. <laughs> Continue. Okay. Oh, my God! Are you okay? I think my arm is no, broken. No, my big gulp. Uh, are you serious? I think it's okay. It's still kind of bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> He's almost out. He's almost out. <laughs> Can you put down the big gulp? Put it down! Oh, I can- I Put can, it down! Wait, 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 oh my! Put it down! Keep pushing. I'm giving birth! Oh my god, I feel so fucking bloated. I swear I've gained like three pounds in the last few days. We've barely eaten since we've been here. Yeah, but you're like used to it. What is that supposed to mean? Like, you over- Like, you always tell me like you overeat and stuff, so I was just saying like you're probably used to it. I don't know. Like this? Okay, let's get one more. Ew, don't turn that way. What do you mean? No, I'm just saying, like, your acne is flared up on that side of your face, so just turn it, like, that way. I'm well aware of my acne. I'm I'm just saying. I don't know if you want to post that on Instagram. I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> I know we don't want to get too close to the food. What? You might get a little extra seasoning inside of it. Wait, what do you mean? I'm just saying she has dandruff. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, I wasn't being mean. I was just saying, like, she uses, like, head and shoulders, so if that tells you anything. Rude for literally no reason. Yeah. I wasn't even being rude. I was just making a joke. Whatever. I won't talk for the rest of the night. This guy at my work, his armpits just stink so bad. I'm trying to be nice about it because, like, I don't want to just tell him to wear deodorant, you know? Like, literally, like, what does he do? Like, put, like, onion deodorant on or something? It's, like, stinking up the whole place and everyone's, like, covering their nose. Like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Maybe. Oh, I, I don't know. I was just... My cat won't eat anything. I've tried everything he won't eat. You should, like, <clears throat> show your cat, like, pictures on your For You page of, like, cats in, like, a dumpster or something. Or, like, one that's, like, behind, like, in a cage or something. Like, can't even eat. He'll probably start eating after that. <laughs> Maybe. I think he just has to, like, go to the vet or something. Oh, or... I don't know. My brother literally took off his glasses during the eclipse, and now he's having, like, eye problems. So. Yeah, I bet he did. His cornea is like burned right now. <laughs> Can't even see it. He's probably like seeing the moon everywhere. Eclipses everywhere. Cause it's like his cornea is completely burned. He probably has to go to the doctor too. He's dumb, but it's really not that funny. Sorry. Hey, weren't you supposed to go to work today? This is a paid partnership with 7-Eleven. Well, I actually woke up and I realized I was out of, out of coffee. So you didn't go to work? Okay, well, I'm. I did get coffee afterwards, but then it just didn't taste right. Now it's like I'm running a fever, and now I feel really sick, so I can't go to work today. Hey, are you still going to come to my birthday dinner tonight? Oh, I would love to, but I can't. Why? I, the whole thing with the coffee got me really messed up for the rest of the day. I'll make it up to you or something. You can go, like, next week or something. So you can't just, like, have... I'm sorry. It messed up my whole day. Hey, wake up. I got you coffee. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> it's 7-Eleven's caramel coffee. It's so good. Oh my god, it tastes really good. So can you come now? Oh, oh my god, I would love to. Uh, I do feel better, but my leg really hurts still.
Are you serious? Oh, my leg's been hurting for like a week now. You didn't bring that up before. Oh, I know. I'm so sorry. But you guys have fun tonight, okay? Come in. Hey. hey. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing good. It's good. <laughs> What are you doing? I was just gonna check out your pantry. I'm starved. <laughs> oh, I don't think there's gonna be a lot in. What is this? Yeah, sorry. What is that? Oh, it's Seven Eleven chicken wings. We just had dinner though. Oh yeah, I stopped on the way home. But I drove and we didn't stop anywhere. Oh, don't you remember me getting out when you just stopped at that stop sign? What? Oh. <laughs> Would you want some? Uh, sure. Where'd they go? Sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm Sadie's mom. Sadie. Sadie, the one you chat with on the internet? No, man, that I mean. Well, it was you. I saw your picture. Did you make a hot list and not put Sadie on the hot list? She was not on my list, no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make my own hot list. And you know what? You're on the not hot list. How does that feel? It doesn't bother me. I'm comfortable with the way I am. Maybe you shouldn't be so comfortable with yourself. You know why? You look like a miniature Tom Petty. How's that feel? Huh? You think that haircut's cool? It's not. Looks like you put your Justin Bieber wig on backwards. You still comfortable with yourself? Why are you wearing a tank top? Huh? So you can show off your little bald pits, you little hairless wonder? Cool tank top, man. Huh? <sighs> so next time you think about writing something nasty on my daughter's Facebook page, just remember me. Remember me. I will come down here and I will fuck you up. Dude, my manager is pissing me off. What did he say? He's mad because I won't cover another shift. You know what you should do? What? You should just not show up for your shift. Take like a gap year or two or three. I need to work though. Okay, well then take out like a loan and then pay back in like 10 years when you're rich. Most people don't just get rich. Okay, well I've like never worked. I have time to do whatever I want. It's so fun. You should try it. My phone is being so wonky. Well, what's wrong with it? It just keeps like shutting off. Oh, just get a new phone then. I don't have the money to do that. I know, but you work and you deserve a new phone. Yeah, but I can't just drop a thousand dollars on a phone. Yeah, but like at the end of the year, don't they give you like a free phone? Doesn't your service give you like a free phone? When you get an upgrade, you still have to pay for the phone. Oh, I just got a new phone every year. I just thought they gave it to you for free. I don't know, you still deserve one. Oh my God. What? We should go to that new restaurant tomorrow. Sorry, I work. Okay, well then just call out. I called out last week for being sick. Okay, we'll call out for like the last two hours. I'll pay for your lunch. It's like the same thing. It's not the same thing. Okay, well, I call it all the time. You don't even work. I babysit my brother like two times a week. What are you talking about? That's not a job. Whatever. Dude, you were supposed to wake me up like 30 fucking minutes ago. Now I'm going to be late. Oh, I was going to. And then to my surprise, when I go into the kitchen, you ate all my fucking chips. So yeah, I didn't wake you up. Okay, now I'm going to be late for work. Okay, I'll take you to work if you get me Chick-fil-A and fill up the gas in my car. Okay, I'm kind of hungry. Okay, grab my keys. Can you chew any fucking louder? Jesus Christ. They're fucking pretzels. What do you want me to do? Eat an ASMR? Dumbass. Okay, but you're getting crumbs all over my bed. Get out of my room, fat ass. Getting crumbs everywhere. It's disgusting. Delete that picture right now that you just posted. I look so fucking ugly in it. It's not even that bad. Plus, 300 people already saw it anyway, so it's like everyone that was going to see it already saw it. And you have no friends anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to post the ugliest picture of you. You have no idea. I'm so excited to go to Disneyland. Yeah, I'm excited. Uh, I just hope I make it until then. What do you mean? Nothing. I just feel like my time is limited. I keep having this reoccurring dream that I'm going to die November 3rd this year. Girl, shut the fuck up. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm supposed to even do. Because he's been really weird lately with me. Oh my god, not again. What? Who is it? Nothing. This guy's been, like, stalking me. Girl, put it on speaker. Okay. Hello? Your debit card has been overdrawn in the amount of 300 and... Oh, that's something different. Can you tell me why you bought my kids Halloween costumes? Can you tell me why you didn't buy your kids costumes? We don't celebrate because of our religion. What religion? Unless that religion's you not wanting to spend money on your kids. I remember the days when you used to be passed out drunk in the middle of the woods on Halloween saying, this is my favorite holiday. Grow up. Jeremy Brenner said my Halloween costume was ugly. Brenner? Is his mom Ashley Brenner? I think so. Well, I used to go to school with his mom. And she was the ugliest girl in the school. And I can guarantee her kids are even uglier. If that makes you feel better. Why are you still home? 
because she needs to stay home and hand out. Okay, last time I checked, I wasn't talking to you. She turned 18 two months ago. She can do whatever the fuck she wants. Go get your costume on. I'll pass out candy. I have not been able to sleep lately. Oh my god, why? I don't know. I just can't fall asleep. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. I actually heard that if you see someone fall asleep or about to fall asleep, it'll help you sleep. So I'm just trying to help. What the hell? Dude, my costume's not going to be here before Halloween. Did you tell them that you need it for Halloween? Yeah, that's not how shipping works, though. Okay, well, you should call them and say, hey, I need this by Halloween or else I can't have it on Halloween. That's, like, messed up. You guys should come over to my house for Halloween. My family has this, like, crazy tradition where we actually, like, carve pumpkins. I already carved pumpkins earlier this week. Did my dad talk to you and tell you how to do that? Girl, everyone does that. Oh. Hey, your dad- It is disgusting in here! Sorry, I was just- No, I don't care! I've been depressed- I don't care if you're sad or depressed! That's a really good excuse not to do any of your responsibilities! You have 30 minutes to clean this shit up. Maybe I should go to therapy or something. Therapy for what? Because the last time I checked, you had a roof over your head and food in your stomach. You're not going to be spending the family's money on something dumb like therapy. When you just don't want to go to school and you don't want to clean. You know, I'd really appreciate it if you went to the grocery store with me today. You can do that for me. I don't know if I can... So you want me to go all the way to the grocery store, grab all the stuff, and bring it all the way up by myself? I appreciate that. Thank you. Maybe Brandon No! Can... He helped me last time. I don't want to hear it. Grab your coat. We're going right now. Okay, so I know for the Airbnb, you guys wanted $100 each because that's what you guys could afford. But I found this super nice one that I just booked. So you guys just need to send me $700. It's not that much more. $700? Okay, I'm not staying somewhere shitty. I'm not. Sorry. So Venmo me. The Uber just canceled. Oh my god. Well, can't your mom come pick us up? She's working. Okay, what about your dad? He's working too. Why are they both working? So we can live. Oh my god, that's so fucking stupid. Sorry. Okay, well, what are we gonna do then? My car just declined. Are you serious? Yeah. Just transfer out of your savings. I don't have anything in savings. You don't have any savings? You've been working for six years? I pay for my own stuff. I have like money from like all my birthdays combined. It's like probably like 20k. Look at them. They don't even know that their lives are meaningless. Girl, who are you talking about? You're one of them. Hey, do you want to go to the bar with us later? Oh, I would. Um, I just feel like I don't really belong there. What are you talking about? I don't know. I just don't really fit in to bars. Not in a town like this. This is New York City. <laughs> are you okay? Sorry. Um, we can't get on that plane tomorrow. Girl, what plane? I had a dream it's going to crash. We drove here. What are you talking about? Oh, right. Sorry. No, his surprise party is going to be so fun. Like, imagine he's not expecting us, which he's not. He thinks we're intruders. He just, like, blows us away with his shotgun. We, like, fly through the window. Uh, what the fuck? You have so many clothes in here. I know. Do you ever just, like, think that someone can, like, fit behind these and you're, like, sleeping and they're, like, peeking their eye through just, like, watching you and, like, recording you sleeping? Like, some random person. What? <laughs> I love your cats. <laughs> Do you ever just look at them and think you're not giving them enough attention? And they're just gonna die, like, probably soon, because he's, like, what, like, 14? Oh. Oh, honey, you can have that last slice of pizza if you want. I probably shouldn't. Why? My mom said I'm gaining weight. I know your mom did not tell you that. The same woman that almost missed her mortgage payment last month because of the foreign weight loss pills that have no payoff? Look at your mother. Go grab that slice of pizza and go talk to her. Did you clean the house? Yeah, I did. The kids were supposed to do that. Why would the kids clean the house when they just got off of school for eight hours? Because it's part of their chores. Okay, well, I'm on vacation. I have time. And you always have time. You don't have a job. Excuse me? Okay. Well, maybe it'll help you lose weight. Auntie, can I have these cookies? No, you may not. Why? Because those cookies have a lot more than sugar in them, honey. No. I can't even pay my rent this month. I'm so stressed. Maybe you could, like, pay it. What do you mean? I don't have the money. Oh, well, then maybe you could tell them I can't pay it this month. Maybe next month. That's not how it works. Oh. It's freezing in here. I can grab you another blanket. Oh, no, it's fine. I already have a blanket. And I can grab you another one so you can be warmer. Why would I put another blanket on? It's not going to do anything. <laughs> I mean, it's an extra layer of heat. Wait, I'm confused. So we'll be back on the 13th. Okay, that should work. Because we just need to be back before the 8th because that's my mom's birthday. But that's before the... Hey, to give the satisfaction asking how you doing now. What are you doing? Oh my god. That is so embarrassing. What did you hear? Guys, I know this is super annoying, but do you mind if I work here for a second? I have like a deadline. What do you mean? What is this for? What the hell? It's so annoying, I'm sorry. Hey, do you want to watch The Little Mermaid with us? Wait, is that that movie where she goes like at the end, she's like... Out of the sea. Yeah, that one. Or is that like Tangled or something? Oh, are we still going hiking tomorrow? It's supposed to thunderstorm, so I don't okay, think... Okay, we could just like bring an umbrella or something. 
we're still gonna get drenched. Okay, but we're walking uphill. What does that have to do with literally anything? I just don't get why. I just got a picture of my niece. Oh my god, let me see. Why is it bald? <laughs> because she was just born. I don't think I've ever seen a bald baby before. Every baby's bald. No, that's weird. Is he talking yet? She was just born. Uh, well, I'm not. I don't know how babies work. Did you get your movie ticket for tonight? I'll just get it tomorrow. But the theater's almost full, and it's tonight. Okay, well, when I get there, I'll just ask them for a ticket. It is almost full. Okay, well, they can't just, like, refuse me service. They can if there's no spots. Okay, I don't understand what's going on. Look at how cute these flowers they're are. They're weeds. What? Most of these in here are weeds. And not only that, they're also invasive. Well, they're still pretty. I mean, they're pretty, but half of them are going to end up dead because it's going to suck up all the nutrients out of the actual flowers. Okay. What are you guys watching? Oh, it's called... Uh, oh my god, I love this movie. <laughs> Due to the part where she gets shot yet, and she's like in the hospital for three days. No, what the hell? Oh, okay, well it was obvious. Look at her. She looks like she'd do something stupid. I've been working so much, I slept for 14 hours last That's night. That's not good. What? Sleeping for 14 hours actually increases risk of diabetes, makes you have a shorter lifespan, and is bad for your mental and physical health. You should be getting eight to nine hours of sleep.